We've got a new pen. We've got a new pen from Atlas. Let's get this puppy open. It's just the most, it's like, it's like opening a new pen is like Christmas all the time. It's just like opening gifts at Christmas. Although these days I'd rather open a pen than open a Christmas gift because a pen is just, mm, and I could do it all throughout the year, not just Christmas. So there is that. All right, let's see what we have in this stationers. That's my receipt. And there's stuff they sent me. Anything else left? No, nothing else left. Let's see. Oh, we got it. Oh, I love, I just, I love bookmarks. I really do love bookmarks. This is really cool. Celebrate the worldwide on the first Friday of November. So you can guess that this is a National Fountain Pen purchase. I did it. I might have gotten two. You might have seen that video already. But that's okay. We're good. We're good. So this is going to be nice. I'm going to keep this one. This is going to be in my... So here we are. Let's just get to the pen, shall we? Boom! Look at that. Got a new Monteverde. Actually, this is my second Monteverde pen. A world of luxury and innovation. Oh, and yes, you see, it's got Omniflex nib. I decided to try that. Let's open this. Okay. Don't be so hard to get out. Alrighty. Oh, this is. <laughs> This is like a nice box. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, let's do, I'm assuming it's a clamshell, yes. Oh, look at that cutie pie. Oh my goodness. That's got a weight on it. That's, anyway, let's just look and see what else is there. We've got two cartridges and we've got the Monte Verde um, oh, it tells you about the nib. Okay, we'll keep that out. Refilling instructions. We'll keep that out. I don't know if we'll need that, but... And then, I'm assuming this is... Um, oh, yes. Oh, Conklin. Monteverde and Conklin are the same? I didn't know that they they did the same. I'm going to want... I'm going to just enjoy looking through that. Let's put this all away. Let's put this all away and just get to the pen. Come on, Grace. Get... <gasps> Oh my word. I wish you, I could, I wish your hand were here so I could put it in your hand so you feel the beautiful weight of this pen. What is this pen? This pen is the Monteverde, Monteverde Super Mega Carbon Fiber with Rose Gold Trim. And it's Super Mega, it's the Mega Collection, it's part of the Mega Collection. And it's a, um, according to what I read, it is the largest carbon fiber pen that is a, and it's a part of them, as I said, to make a collection. So the, the pen cap and body are carbon fiber. And I don't know if, let me see, I hope it's picking up the, um, the, the design on it. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It looks, it's so weird because, um, this small little cap. I am, that's so, I'm used to larger caps, you know, longer caps, and this is a really small cap. All right, let's see how many it takes to open. One, one and a quarter, maybe. One and a quarter. Like that, I'll show you. Oh my God, rose gold nib. Oh. This is actually, I don't know if you can see that, right there. This is called the 
Omniflex nib. And it's a, it's a stainless steel nib, number six Yovo, that's what I want to say. And um, Yovo, their flex nib is called Omniflex. So it's an Omniflex nib. Oh, so I love that finish right there. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The pen is very heavy. Oh, that feels so nice right there. I'm going to do my regular rating of the pen at the at the end after I do a writing writing sample. But for right now, that feels brilliant. That feels I must say, I can feel the heaviness of that pen. That's because I was, um, previously before I started recording, I was writing with a really light pen. So I think that probably influences how heavy I think this pen is. Now, I don't know how long I can, I can write with that because on the curly, cur the, on the pearly cue, I can definitely feel the weight of it. So I'm not sure how long I'll be able to write with this pen, but it's just gorgeous. Does it post? I'm generally not a, um, pe a person who posts my caps. It doesn't post. That's okay, because I don't, I don't mind that. Oh, just beautiful. So there, the, the um, rose gold trim, it's so pretty. I just, um, what was I using? Something where I put the, a notebook where I put the, the pen at the side of the spine. That was a spiral spine. So, and there is the, the logo. It's a, it's, I'm, I am really, really liking this pen. Okay, let's see what, it's supposed to be a, um, it is a cartridge converter, cartridge converter pen. Oh, everywhere, every, the whole thing is, can we, oh, I think it's a, oh, it's a screw off. This is like my second or third pen that has a screw. So there's threads on the cartridge that you screw on, which I kind of like because then you're kind of sealing it quite good, quite nicely. Okay, that's really, pr this is such a beautiful instrument. So pretty, oh my word. And look at that nib, I cannot wait to try it. I've never written with a flex nib before, so this will be my first. Let's do some comparisons. Let's do some comparisons. So this is the Monteverde Super Mega carbon fiber pen. And I'm gonna put some gigantic things next to it. This beauty is, oh my God, I love this pen. Love this pen. This is um, Leonardo. This, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love this pen. Love this pen. Anyway, there's my, my first, but not my last. Leonardo. Okay. And then I thought I'd put in, because because of the girth of that pen, this is the Jinhao X159. So yeah, you can see that the size of the pen, the sizes is, are comparable. This is my Narwhal Horizon. This, it, the, the um, Jinhao and the Monteverde pen are, seem to be equal in length. What is the length of this pen? Let me get the, let me do that really quickly. The length of the pen is about five and three quarter inches. So yeah. And then, because, of, you know, these are just magical things here. There is, what are you, what, what's that, my Apollo? This is my Visconti Apollo. So my brain has to do this. My brain has to do this. So there's a stair stepping, definitely. Um, it's still a really nice, large pen. And the other one I want to compare it to is my other Monteverde. This is the Ritma. This is the mag magnetic cap in 1.1 nib. So yeah, it, it really fits in well with the lineup of large, large pens, 
really beautiful. Um, I don't know if I'm... These are so large, I don't know if I'm going to get my the caps. It's, it's, it's actually trying to cap again. That's so funny. Alrighty. Let's see them uncapped. Let's just do it. Let's just, just do it. And then this last one. The Super Mega. So yeah, um, it's interesting how the length of the pen now becomes so much longer than these others because of the caps are not on them now. That's interesting. That's interesting. Such a brilliant lineup. Alrighty, let's get to, let me, let me, let me put these away and then, and we'll get to inking this baby up. And I'm going to ink it up in an ink that I have had for a very long time. Um, one of my first bottled inks. Bye bye baby, I love you, I'll miss you. You're, you're so sweet, I love you. And we'll go from there. Let's put all this stuff away. Alrighty, time to, time to do an ink up. So, so pretty. And I'm going to ink it up in the um, Diatramentus Blackberry ink. I haven't used this ink. This is one of my first bottles of ink that I bought. I haven't used it in a very long time. And I thought, you know what? Let me bring it out. Let me bring it out here. Oh, don't disappear. You st I still need you. Oh, that's squeaky. I'm going to have to put some silicone grease on that. That squeaky is just... Ugh. You know what? I want to, I'm gonna, I'm going to ink it up. Let's see if I can ink it up. Let's see if I can ink it up through the nib itself. I want to try and do that. Come on. I will make my copy. I wasn't low, low enough. enough. Alrighty. Let's put you back together again. And let me wipe you off because you're rose gold. You need to you need to shine. And we'll put the ink away. I love Diatramentus, one of my favorite brands of inks. Alrighty, we are going to write with this pen. Um, this is the Oh, now remember, this is an Omniflex. I need to remember, this is an Omniflex lib. I'm not going to flex right now. I'm just going to write with it just to get oh, it's such a beautiful, smooth. Oh, it's interesting that it is a smooth writer, but I don't know if you can hear some of the feedback. Super mega. carbon fiber um, with rose gold. Oh, so nice. And the ink, the ink is the Atramentis. And it's just Blackberry is the name. I just recently did um, a November um, ink flight and it was Pannonia inks and all of their inks have numbers. I so prefer an ink that has a name to it. And the fact that this is Blackberry, you can you can kind of see that it's Blackberry when it has an, a number like 17. What does 17 look like? I mean, come on, what does 17? Sorry, Mate, sorry, but I'm just having an issue. Just having an issue, okay. this is the test. This is the test. Let's do. Oh. I'm pressing fairly, um, I'm pressing hard. I'm not, I'm not pressing extremely hard. 
but I want to see. You can see it's coming. The difference in the nibs, in the nib um, sizes there, definitely. Hmm, nice. Let's just do the sentence, everybody. I was I used to do quotes when I wrote with a new pen, but I've decided it's so much easier just to write this one sentence that I just I just write with it. And it's a quick write that you can do. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't know if you can hear. I hope you can hear the feedback. It is actually quite nice. Uh, that's nice. All right, let's get to how I now grade a pen. I do a system rating that um, Tom of, let's well, I'll talk, that Tom of Ink Journal, he sends out the ink flights, his family sends out the ink flights, but he came up with a, um, a rating system that I, I love, I, I absolutely love using it. The rating he has, or he came up with, that I am absolutely using, the first one is uniqueness. And the uniqueness is about how uniquely identifiable, how uniquely identifiable is the pen? Um, is it common? Like, uh, I would put Twisby or Caveco in the common, the common um, scale, side of the scale. And then this extraordinary, it's just like, more so much more than what you what usual pens are this one i'm going to give it a straight up nine i i think it is a gorgeous instrument and yeah on a scale it is high up on the scale for me okay the next one is it's called he calls it the ease of use and this is basically um straight out of the box What's the performance like? What's the filling mechanism like? What is the um, ergonomics like? And this clear bit right here, I mean, the threads are high enough. If you've seen my, um, if you've seen my video on the previous pen that I purchased, the, um, what was the pen I purchased? The um, Pelican, my first Pelican. Oh my God, I have a Pelican. Pelican golden barrel, that special edition pen. This grip section is really, really low. It's a small pen, it's a fairly small pen. And this grip section, I can feel the threads, not that they interfere with my writing, but I can feel it. This, the smoothness of this area right here, that smoothness is just so freaking gorgeous. Um, so the ease of use on a scale that, that Tom says is easy to hard. This is definitely, I would put this in the nine category. Looky there. Oh my gosh. You're getting it. You're getting it. Okay. The next category he had was the feel in hand. How does it feel in your hand? What, what is, is it, is it small? Is it light? Is it, is it easy to, to in your hand or is it on the big and heavy side? Now this number is not a rating necessarily for me. It is just which end of the spectrum does this pen fall? And it's definitely, I, I, I'm, get, I'm actually gonna put it, it is a bit heavy. I'm gonna put it in a 10. It is really heavy. And I'm, as I said earlier, I'm wondering, um, I'm wondering if I can write, how long I can write with it. So 10 is not because it's a, uh, you know, higher on the spectrum. This is basically the weight, total weight. The next one is style. And the style of this pen is, is the cutest, cute is not the word, no. It is, you know what it is? It's classy and it's elegant. 
So the style for me, especially with the pattern you see on the pen itself, the style for me is up there. Um, and I'm wondering, so the style, let's see. It's not unassuming, absolutely. It's, but it's definitely unusual. The, especially when you look, I don't know if you can pick up how it, the pen gradually moves in here just slopes in. That I think is very unique. I love that very unique. I'm actually going to give this, I'm going to give this an 8.5, which is, so it's not exactly the most unique pen I've had, but there's so many things about it, especially with the Omniflex lib, the nib. Um, yeah, 8.5 is, is good. The next one, the next rating system he goes with that I am going to use is the writing experience. Now, writing experience is kind of like a combination of all of the things. Um, the writing experience is about the scratchiness of the nib. I am, and, and the, 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 um, the rating he goes is scratchy to buttery smooth. I prefer a buttery smooth nib. This writes buttery smooth, although it is a bit scratchy but it's not as scratchy as some other pens that I've had. So the writing experience for me on this particular one, I think it goes in the eight. It is not exactly the most buttery, like the one of the most buttery smooth, two of the most buttery smooths, this one, this Leonardo. Oh my God, this, mm, this pen, love this pen. And then um, Jinhao 82. Two ends of the, of the price point spectrum the Leonardo and the Jinhao, but they, they both write buttery smooth. I'm, I just love that experience. So the writing experience with this, this is, this is, I don't know if you can hear that scratchy. It's a bit of scratchy, but it's not a, it's not a catchy scratchy. It doesn't catch, but it's still smooth. And then the, uh, the one I always leave, um, because I think I can't know the value of this pen um, until the value for the money and the value for all the things, all the things that, that, that work towards making this pen a reality, like the material, the filling system, the brand, um, the, is it a limited edition or something, you know, like that's, that sort of stuff. I think value is only can be found in the val in the um the eye of the purchaser. I so far I love this pen. Absolutely hands down love this pen. But I don't fill this out until like maybe two or three months down the line. Because then I, I really get a, a a feel for the value of what this pen means to me. Remember I said the value is the eye of the purchaser. So I think I have a few, fan, few pens that I will do a, a value video on, like a three month in type thing. And this will be one of them that I will do the value on and, and give it a number and we'll see what that goes. But so far, I mean, this, this, um, I am absolutely, absolutely enamored. This is a beautiful pen. I, if you ever go to a pen show, I want you to pick up the Monteverdi Super Mega. There's a reason why it's called Super Mega, because this sucker is heavy, very heavy. But it is a beautiful, beautiful pen. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you in the next one. Look at my new pen, people. My new pen, my new pen. Yay!